Members of the Bush administration lobby for support of the president, the latest in our first seven minutes. For a short time, gas gets cheaper in Kansas, and crowds celebrate this weekend in honor of a frozen man. Time is running very short for Saddam Hussein. That from the Bush administration today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jared Clark. Lisa has the night off. Topping our first seven minutes, White House staffers made the rounds on the morning talk shows this morning speaking about Iraq. Aline Sargani is in Washington with the latest on diplomatic efforts to win support for the president. With anti-American sentiment growing and only two or three days before the U.S. and Great Britain offer a new resolution to the U.N. Security Council, diplomacy is in high gear. President Bush and his team want to give Iraq until March 17th to disarm or else. And I'm encouraged that we might get the nine or ten votes needed for uh, passage of the resolution and we'll see if somebody wants to uh, veto it. That somebody is France. And there remains more uncertainties about China and Russia. Those countries still want to give the UN inspectors more time. If we start talking about more months, it's going to be, well, maybe he's making a little bit more progress because he's a master at playing this game. Just yesterday, Saddam petitioned the UN to lift sanctions on his country as a reward of sorts for doing as inspectors have asked. Saddam has allowed inspectors to destroy his controversial al Samu 2 missiles. So far, 46 are out of commission, nearly half of Iraq's arsenal. But Saddam continues to tell his people to expect the worst. Iraqis are digging trenches in their neighborhoods, and schools are instructing children on how to survive an attack. We are preparing to all probabilities. We are preparing ourselves to the war. And more preparation is now more than evident just outside Iraq. The UN is withdrawing over 300 not essential military staff from the Kuwaiti border. It's where U.S. forces would cross if they invade. Some 200,000 troops are already in the region and should this week's UN resolution fail, they may act sooner than the March 17th deadline. Aline Sergani, CBS News, Washington. It was another day of anti-war protests in our nation's capital. There was a parade of coffins along the mall in Washington, D.C. today to protest American involvement in a possible war with Iraq. The protest was organized by a group called Iraq Pledge of Resistance. Marchers held pictures of Iraqi civilians, death masks, banners, and cardboard coffins. Several arrests were reported. With the threat of war, the role of military chaplains are becoming more important. Kaplan Hubs at McConnell Air Force Base in Wichita says his top priority is praying with more soldiers. Many of those prayers were for the leaders who make the calls about if and when mil military attacks would occur. So far, over 60 Air Force chaplains with diverse religious backgrounds have been deployed as part of Operation Enduring Freedom. A Kansas Highway Patrolman was hit last night while trying to direct traffic. 74-year-old Kurt Schiffelbein was assisting a car that hit a deer on westbound Highway 400 last night. He was struck by a car driving by that didn't yield, and he was taken to Mount Carmel where he was treated and released. No word if any child charges have been filed. Well, today's weather was pretty warm, and that spoils us a little bit, but uh, it wasn't quite as warm as yesterday, and uh, Chad Andrews now joins us with our first look at weather. You're right, Jared. Last two days, we saw temperatures in the 60s and 70s. Today, in the 30s. Tomorrow, though, things will begin to warm up as the next seven days get here. Let's get right to the forecast tonight. Clear and cold, 19 tonight in the teens for a low. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, partly sunny and mild will warm up a little bit, high at 51. East winds becoming south winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Look at your seven-day forecast. There's a chance of rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. But look at those numbers in orange on the end of that seven-day forecast, Jared, all the way up into the lower 70s for highs. So things begin to warm up. Uh, these next seven days gradually warm up each day. That'll be a nice change, definitely. I meant to say it's colder today, not warmer today. Yeah, that's right. A little bit cooler today, Jared. All right, thanks, Chad. <laughs> With the rising cost of gasoline, some people are spending $20 to $30 a week or even more filling up their gas tanks. One church's good deed today helped make gas more affordable for the community. KOAM Cheryl Terrell was there and explains. It was a good day for many people who caught a deal out at Bose Gas Station in Pittsburgh. We live in a practical way by pumping your gas and we're giving you guys a discount. And so, uh, Family Life Assembly of God Church was showing their act of kindness by helping buy down the gas. Instead of the price being $1.62, they are paying the difference so it can go down to $1.49. 
Most people are expecting that we've got some catch with this, but we're wanting to show God's love. And with God's love, there's no strings attached. It's just unadulterated. We want to give. The church is too frequently coming out with an open hand wanting. We want to come out with an open hand giving. The cheap price caught many people's attention, but most had no idea until they were at the pump what was going on. I thought it was great. It's, it's a great way for them to get it together and then to help the community. Some came through not sure if the price was indeed what was on the signs. No, I didn't believe it because I've been driving through town and seeing the dollar sixty-one, dollar sixty-two, and then I seen dollar forty-nine. I was like, whoa! <laughs> when you saw that, what did, what did you think? Honey? Well, after she told me what they were doing, I thought it was a pretty good deal that they were doing. Parishioners at the church believe what they're doing will show everyone there are people willing to lend a helping hand. When gas prices are extremely high, and we just want to show love and help you out by that. And the looks on their faces is priceless. You know, just the smiles and the fact that somebody cares about them is just unbelievable. To feel the, that somebody will actually pay for your gas is kind of a good feeling. You know they care about you. That's something this church hopes they can continue doing for more people. In Pittsburgh, Cheryl Terrell, KOM News. 33 cars took advantage of the fuel buy-down today. If you were one of those lucky people to get cheap gas today, uh, you were probably ready to hit the roads, but there could be some construction to slow you down. Starting Monday, the Missouri Department of Transpo Transportation will begin reconstruction work on I-44 in Jasper County. The construction will start at the Highway 71 south exit and end three miles east of the Highway 71 north exit. Crews will start with preliminary work, which isn't expected to delay traffic. But in April, the strip of highway will be down to two lanes, meaning there could be delays. Next week, Oklahoma State Senate will take another, will revisit cockfighting. The senators may ask voters if they really meant it when they voted last November for tougher penalties for cockfighting. Under the new law, cockfighting is a felony. Legislators may ask for a vote to reduce the penalty to a misdemeanor. Opponents of the law say many counties voted against the ban, and the support came from urban areas like Tol Tulsa and Oklahoma City. Oklahoma lawmakers will also be looking for a way to reduce prison populations and rising costs. In the past 10 years, prison spending has doubled to nearly $4 million. The Senate is looking into bringing back a plan that gives early release to nonviolent inmates when prisons get crowded. They may also get rid of min minimal penalties for drug possession. That's news and weather in our first seven minutes. When we come back, Chad Andrews will have a complete look at your work week forecast. Live from KOAM TV, Lisa Oligas, Chad Andrews with Skywatch 7 Weather, and Richard Smith with Sports. With so many ways to play and so many ways to win, how are you going to win your money? At Bordertown Bingo, you can play to win all day, all night. Electronic gaming, nonstop entertainment 24-7, and the only paper bingo you can play for miles and miles around. Only Bordertown takes it one step better. With Planet Bingo every Thursday through Sunday, get into the game, and you automatically have a chance at mega jackpots with Planet Bingo. So how are you going to win your Bordertown money? Bingo. At the First National Bank in Lamar and Golden City, employees always take time to answer your questions in a friendly and courteous way. As the oldest bank in Barton County, First National puts experience to work for you. Whether you need advice or just need to cash a check, the friendly staff at First National is always happy to help. Stop by today and experience the difference quality personal service can make for you. The First National Bank of Lamar and Golden City, where you can always feel comfortable knowing your banking business will be done right. For the latest KOAM news reports, when you're out and about, listen to Kicks 102.5, Kissin 92.5, Big Dog 97.9, and Magic 93.9. KOAM TV and KCOW present three of country's greatest legends on the same stage the Country Gold Tour. Leroy Van Dyke. Just walk on by. David Frizzell. She said, I'm gone, I'll wind. Rex really Allen I'm Jr. Oh, it's over. Country Gold Tour. Tickets are on sale now. Hey, well, all right, sure. Here we go there and what are they going again? Three incredible superstars, one incredible night. 
Coming up in the week ahead on the morning news, spring is in the air. And to get you in the spirit, we'll get ready to sail away with a Grand Lake boat show. And if you want to give your lawyer the old heave hole, we'll find out the right way to do it when we ask the attorney. We'll see you at 530. Mr. C's brings you Mr. Mr. C's Super Save. Save. Our super buyouts bring you super savings. Over 7,000 level or metal mini blinds, $9.97 each. Patio door vertical blinds, $24.95 each. Over 10,000 roller window shades cut to your size, $288 each. Plus everyday savings of up to 80% off retail prices on custom order window treatments. Mr. C's, 1708 Main, Joplin. Westco Home Furnishings would like to give you a free lane recliner. That's right, free. During the buy one, get one free sale. Going on now at Westco. Now, Chad Andrews with your Skywatch 7 weather. Featuring Doppler 7000. Welcome back. Yesterday we saw temperatures in the 70s. Today we only saw a high in the upper 30s. That's four state weather for you right there. Now tomorrow we're looking at highs mild and will be right around 50 degrees. But as the week goes on for the next seven days, it looks like it's slowly going to increase and your next weekend for you is looking pretty nice. We've got temperatures in the 70s so far right now in the forecast. Tomorrow morning, though, let's start things off. Partly cloudy at 7 a.m., 30 degrees. Still be a little bit chilly out there. By noontime, 44. Will we reach a high somewhere around 50? And by 5 o'clock, 38 degrees under partly cloudy skies. Here's a look at your numbers today. We did see a high of 38 degrees, but check this out. 35 degrees cooler today than it was yesterday. The normal high is 55. Big difference. Tomorrow we should step it up right around 50 degrees. Here's a look at some temperatures right now across the four state regional temperatures. Wichita at 26, Joplin 27, Tulsa at 32, Rogers at 28, and Kansas City 20. On to St. John's Skynet 7, we go to look at some more temperatures closer to home maybe out there. Girard 23, Parsons at 25, Pittsburgh 26, Columbus 23, and Commerce at 26 degrees. Those temperatures hanging in the mid-20s and should fall off into the upper teens tonight for a low. Here's a look right now outside at the satellite picture. We do have some clouds northwest of us, but that's about it. So far, things are staying pretty clear here through tonight. It'll stay clear here uh, tonight and on through tomorrow. Tell you the national radar now. Do have some uh, showers still down south that are finally making their way off to the coast. Uh, those are actually in the coast right now. We did have some snow earlier uh, today up northeast. Some more rain uh, in a mix of rain and snow in the Pacific Northwest. But here in the four states, we're staying dry at least for tomorrow. We do have a system coming in Tuesday and Wednesday that has a good chance of bringing us some out isolated showers. Here's what's going to look like tomorrow morning. Uh, it is going to be cool. There we go. It is going to be cool. Partly cloudy skies, but that's going to switch over and then mild. We're going to see highs tomorrow somewhere around 50 degrees, kind of depending on where you're at in the four states. Southern tier is going to be a little bit warmer. Here you go. Here's your highs for tomorrow. Miami 54, Pineville 51, Rogers 53, and Pittsburgh 48, Nevada 45. Here's your Skywatch 7 forecast for tonight. Clear and cold down to 19 for a low. Will be chilly out there. Northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow, partly sunny and mild. High of 51. East winds becoming south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Look at your 7-day forecast. Do have a chance of rain on Tuesday and Wednesday, but uh, Tuesday high is 64. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that weekend's looking pretty nice, Jared. Temperatures in the 70s. And like I said earlier, each day this week looks like the temperatures are jumping up a tad. But a chance of rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. But I guess the good thing is, hey, no more of those uh, ice scrapers or anything like that, at least this week. No snow. Yeah, no snow. I'd like to put mine away for a long time. And I like the end of the week's forecast. That looks yeah, really it looks nice. great. Great yeah. weather to get outside and do something. That's right. Thank you very much, Jared. All right. It's a big day of flower rivalries and even bigger finishes in college hoops. KU and Mizzou put together a finish you'll have to see to believe in today's border war. The Sunday Night Sports Feed begins next. At Furniture Factory Outlet, we know the value of a dollar. And we know you work hard to get the most for your money. When you visit any FFO, we'll treat you right seven days a week. Deluxe Rocker Recliner, 197 Comfortable, affordable sofas, $4.98. Give your home a fresh new look. Deluxe Orthopedic Queen Mattress Set, $1.88. When you're shopping for that dining room, bedroom, or the right sofa and love seat, your dollars go farther at Furniture Factory Outlet. We know that you guys don't have any of these on the menu, like a you know, good tasting breakfast sandwich. So we brought you a Sonic Breakfast Toaster Sandwich as like a, you know, a gift. Thank you. You're Enjoy. welcome. 
Enjoy. Be Thank well. Thank you very much. Bye. Thanks a lot. Oh, that felt good. Better breakfast. Sonic's got it. The others don't. Introducing Sonic Breakfast, featuring breakfast toaster sandwiches, big breakfast burritos, pancake on a stick, and more. Sonic Breakfast. Have a good morning. You are watching KOAM TV 7 Strong. Proud to receive the Friends of Education Award of Excellence. Hundreds of four state men and women must say goodbye to the life they know and the families they love. KOAM brings you the stories of those answering America's call next week on KOAM News at 6. Every seven minutes, someone in the U.S. becomes severely visually impaired. We're the American Foundation for the Blind, and we can help. Call us at 1-800-232-5463 or visit www.afb.org. Why does Silver Dollar City gather so many people together for World Fest every year? Because when we dance together, there is trust. When we laugh together, there is understanding. When we sing together, there is harmony and hope. And because the world could use a little more World Fest. When we're together, we're the best that we can be together. Good evening. Kansas had every reason to expect a win in today's border war, having beaten Mizzou in four straight meetings. On the other hand, the Tigers also had good reason to expect a victory, having beaten every challenger this year at the Hearn Center. And the actual outcome wound up surpassing all expectations. KU would clinch the Big 12 title outright with a win. Second half, Hawks up seven. Ricky Paulding short on the three, but this is why coaches say to follow the shot. Paulding, monster duck, Mizzou within five. Mizzou would go up 57-56. Kirk Heinrich drives the lane, slips it to Nick Collison for the jam. KU back ahead by one. Seesaw finish. Ricky Clemens head fakes, sidesteps, hits the three. Tigers now up one. Shot clock running down. Send it out to Aaron Miles. Heaves up the impossible three and hits to tie it at 74. Next time down, Collison going to air ball the jumper. Shot clock running low again. Michael Lee sends it over to Heinrich, and he buries the three-pointer for a 77-74 lead. 12 seconds left. Paulding, one last chance, puts up the three-pointer. It's no good, and KU wins the Big 12 regular season title for the second straight year, 79-74. Quinn Snyder now 2-6 and six against the Hawks as Missouri coach. Heinrich and Collison lead KU with 20 points apiece, while Paulding and Clemens score 21 each to pace the Tigers. KU will be the top seed when the Big 12 tourney tips off on Thursday. Missouri is the fifth seed. Duke taking on North Carolina in its pack of road rivalry, getting feisty in the second half. That's where we pick it up. Rashad McCants drops the trade to put North Carolina up 75-72. 30 seconds left now. Off the inbounds, Dante Jones hits the three-pointer to get the Blue Devils within two. It's a three-point lead with three seconds left. Ray Felton misses the free throw. Jones boards it, runs it across the timeline, and he hit, throws up and hits the prayer as time expires. But watch the replay. The light above the scoreboard. Time expired before the shot left his hand, and the unranked Tar Heels shock number 10 Duke 82-79. MIAA Finals in Kansas City. Washburn won the regular season title and the Lee Blues topped Missouri Western 71-60 to take the postseason crown. Crystal Walker scores 21, earning tournament MVP honors in the process. Men's side, Damon Bailey scores 27 to lead Western to a 75-65 upset of top seed Washburn. With the win, the Griffins earn an, earn an automatic D2 tourney invite. And those Ichabods, of course, knocked Southern out of the MIAA tournament with an 80-61 win last night. Southern jumped out to a double-digit lead in the first half, but then Washburn took over the boards, hauling in a tournament record 58 rebounds, including 24 on the offensive glass to help pull away. The loss drops Southern to 19 and 10, but it doesn't necessarily mean their season is over. Heading into the tournament, the Lions ranked ninth in the South Central region, one spot out of a D2 tourney berth. But victories over regional foes count big in the formula for the regional polls, and Southern did knock off 7th-ranked Emporia State in the opening round. So it may not be likely, but it is possible that Southern could vault into the top eight and an invite to the big dance. Either way, we'll find out for sure when the field is announced tomorrow afternoon. Stay here. Up next, we'll tell you why the PGA's Ford Championship hasn't actually produced a champion, and we'll show you NASCAR as Jeff Gordon duels with Bobby Labonte for a win in the Atlanta 500. Keep it here. The feed marches on. Every hospital has walls, lights, and equipment. 
but at Integris Grove General Hospital, we have more. Like exceptional general surgeons, Robert Dotson and Doug Olstrom, and the team of highly qualified healthcare professionals that support them. Providing quality health care for you and your family with trust and compassion. Integris Grove General Hospital, the best kept secret in town. Attention four states. Look what has just arrived at Grub Discount Motors in Miami. 2002 Toyota Camry 21.9. 2002 Ford Taurus 14.9. 99 Mercury Cougar 11.9. 2002 Mitsubishi Diamante 19.9. 2001 Lincoln LS 22.9. 2002 Mitsubishi Galant 12.9. Remember Grub Discount Motors has a lot full of late model low mileage cars to choose from and Sam has them priced right. Grub Discount Motors 1820 North Main in Miami. Worried about spraying on a day like today? With new patented Roundup WeatherMax, you can spray when it's ideal. Too hot, too dry, or too cold. It's possible because Roundup WeatherMax penetrates the weed leaf to begin delivering a lethal dose within minutes. So ask for new Roundup WeatherMax. Why start and stay with new Roundup WeatherMax? You get two new warranties in Roundup Rewards. 30-minute rain-fast warranty and the Roundup WeatherMax warranty. Plus, all the other risk-sharing benefits of Roundup Rewards. Nobody else backs you like Roundup WeatherMax. Nobody. Springtime is for cleaning, working in the yard, redecorating. Springtime is golf. <laughs> I'd change bedding, I'd, you know, do my planting. And Walmart makes it very easy. Oh, hey, let's go look at the bathroom thing. There's a whole set of everything that goes together. And then I can go over to the paint department and get the color to match up. She's the decorator, and she's real good at well, it. Well, thank you. This is my new bedroom stuff. New everything. All from Walmart. And it's a great price. Did you know I got all this? <laughs> Good thing she had a truck to bring it home in. <laughs> we'll give you the news you need to know first thing in the morning as you head out the door. And every 10 minutes, Dave will give you the weather on the 7th. We feel like we really connect with people because we may be the first people outside of their immediate family that they see in the morning and they're getting the information that we think is going to help them get out the door and, and start to take on their day. And they may actually like us better than their immediate family. <laughs> We're going to tell you what you need to know. When you need to know it. We'd also like to know that just maybe <laughs> we're going to put a smile on your face in the morning. Welcome back. For reasons that go beyond car or crew or ability, some NASCAR drivers just click at certain racetracks. Bobby Labonte is one of those drivers, and although he can't explain how or why, he proved again today that he's the ace of Atlanta. Love those extra-long NASCAR race names. This one's the Bass Pro Shops MNBA 500. Lap 222, Jeff Gordon passes Tony Stewart to take over the lead. 60 laps later, Labonte slips past Gordon to take over his share of the lead. And this, this is the best wreck we had today. Steve Park and John Andre collide on pit row. That's what happens when you fail to yield the right of way. Lap 307, Jeff Burton's car smokes. That forces a caution. Off the restart. Start on 314. Gordon catches Labonte napping, passes on the outside, but 11 laps left. Labonte muscles by Gordon to take the lead for good, and Bobby Labonte wins the Atlanta 500. It's Labonte's sixth win in the last 14 races at Atlanta, but his first victory since April of last year. Gordon and Dale Jr. round out a Chevy heavy top three. Matt Kenseth and Elliot Sadler are four and five, and Joplin's Jamie McMurray finishes out of the race in 36th. Golf fans who enjoy a nice frivolous lawsuit could probably drum up a pretty good false advertising case against the PGA. After all, today's event is called the Ford Championship, but at the end of the day, there's no champion. Scott Hoke and Bob Tway tied for the lead entering the day. Tenth hole, Jim Furyk puts himself in the mix. His chip shot finds the cup for Eagle to go 17 under and claim a share of the lead. Eighteenth hole, Hoke in the rough, sits it down within three feet of the pin. He would tap in for par to force a playoff. On the first playoff hole, both golfers par, so we go to a second playoff hole and listen. After the first playoff hole, there's Furyk for par. Listen to what Hope has to say on the second hole. I can't say that. I mean, I can say it, but I can't tell what the question is doing. Okay. Hoke says it's too dark for him to read his birdie putt, so they postpone play until tomorrow, much to the fans' displeasure. Birdie putts await both Furyk and Hoke on the second playoff hole when play resumes at 8 o'clock Eastern time Monday morning. Everyone else, they're done. Tway finishes third at 15 under, while Tim Petrovic takes fourth at minus 14. By contrast, the Missouri Southern softball team did finish off a championship this weekend, and they did in heart-stopping fashion. The Lady Lions pulled off seventh-inning comebacks in all three games yesterday on their way to the Ott's Lady Lion Classic Championship. 
In the title game, Southern scored three runs with two outs in the final inning, topping 14th ranked Nebraska Omaha 4-2. That comes on the heels of a Lady Lion upset of fifth ranked North Dakota State on Friday. The Lions also pulled off a comeback this weekend in a larger sense, raising their record from 3-8 to 8-8 in a span of only two days. They're back in action Tuesday against Central Arkansas. And finally tonight, I don't know about you guys, but I about have a heart attack just thinking about running a marathon, so imagine covering all that distance using only your hands. That's what Bob Wyland did, completing the entire course for the 26 and a half mile Los Angeles Marathon using only his arms. He started last Saturday and finally crossed the finish line yesterday. Wyland lost his legs as a soldier in Vietnam, and he said he wanted to pay tribute to American soldiers who might soon be fighting in Iraq. I couldn't do that. I don't know about you, but that's way beyond my physical ability. Yeah, me too, Rich. I think marathon, half marathon, you know, down the block, any of it wears me out. Exactly. Know? Walking down the stairs to the studio tonight, I got winded. There's no way I could do something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, I noticed you were a little out of breath yeah. when you came down here. Oof. Well, he's a, definitely a tough man. Well, a bizarre tradition had people celebrating in Colorado this weekend. It was the second annual Frozen Dead Guys Day. It refers to a cryogenically frozen man that's kept in a tough shed in the mountain community. The crowd celebrated the man known as Grandpa by having a parade, coffin races, and a look-alike contest. There's even a dead guy ale named in his honor. It costs more than $6,500 to keep the man frozen year round, which is paid for by his grandson in Norway. I got about five jokes I want to make here, <laughs> but I think talking about a dead guy, they might be in bad taste. Yes, so I think I'll so just too. keep quiet. Yeah, I will too. And, uh, and the warmer weather is coming our way, it looks like, to the four states. And Chad's here with a last look at our weather. That's right, guys. We're going to be outside tonight, though. You want to throw on a coat only down to 19 for a low tomorrow. 51, it's getting warmer, so guys, it's not exactly flip-flop weather just yet, but it is getting a little bit warmer outside. Well, Chad, I wish it was flip-flop weather. We could just be flipping around the studio and... Be a good time. Well, that's it for this evening. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, KOAM News starts again tomorrow morning with the morning show. Thanks for watching. If you see news happening, call KOAM News on your U.S. cellular phone by dialing pound seven. and nails are provided by Wholesale Beauty Club, 6th and Range Line in front of Target. As events unfold overseas, they affect us here at home. Comprehensive. Up to the minute. In-depth reporting. Experience. CBS News. And here in the four states, stay with KOAM News for the local stories that really hit home. Because every story is a local story. Experience CBS and KOAM News. At Lindbergh Pharmacy, we're dedicated to your health. And here's what you can do. Only 8% of Americans exercise enough. Exercise strengthens heart, bones, and lungs. It tones muscle and increases vitality. Far too many Americans are overweight. Eat smart, lower your fat and sugar intake, and eat more fruits and vegetables. And finally, if you smoke, quit today. It'll pay huge dividends. For a healthier life, ask the pharmacist, Steve or Lori, at Lindbergh Pharmacy. Smith Cycle Center began in Pittsburgh in 1965. John and Mike Smith grew up in the cycle business. Today, Honda Performance is the only thing they sell, from the luxury tour Honda Goldwing to the somewhat smaller XR50 to the best-on-earth Honda ATVs. Smith Cycle Center can put you in the saddle, along with great motorcycle accessories and unbeatable Honda certified service. Come ride with us at Smith Cycle Center. The need for dependability, honesty, and strength is more important than ever. KOAM News understands those needs. Our coverage reflects our commitment to the four states. No matter where you live in the four states, KOAM News is there. Our strength comes from you, the families of the four states. That's why we're here. We'll not only give you the story, but the reasons behind the story. We'll tell you how today's events will shape our world tomorrow. KOAM News, there's only one station that's four states strong. You all have 
habits that just drive your spouse nuts. You've got receipts from 1952. You call people trailer trash or rednecks. I have. What embarrasses me. Do you love your wife? Absolutely. Then why don't you shut up? <laughs> Even my wife has issues with me. He does not like for anyone to touch his head. It's not like they're going to mess up his hair or anything. An all-new Dr. Bill. That is such a crock. Weekdays at 3 on KOAM-TV. Christian Center, located in downtown Joplin, Missouri, is proud to present To Strengthen Our Wings with founder Dr. Mac Evans and Pastor Hank DeLott. Central Christian Center believes in you and desires God's best for you and your family. On this To Strengthen Our Wings program, Pastor Hank DeLott's message is entitled, Who Are You? We join our service in progress.